So similar yet pretty different. We are talking about Cardigan Welsh Corgi and Pembroke Welsh Corgi. In this video I will tell you what are the differences between them. Pembroke Welsh Corgi is younger from these two dogs and they were actually developed from Cardigan. Well, they have more ancestors of course, most likely Northern Spitz dogs. Cardigan was developed in Cardiganshire and Pembroke was developed in Pembrokeshire. Cardigan ancestors are pretty unknown, it might be Dachshunds or Swedish Walhunds, maybe Kishons or Skipper Keys. The biggest difference and the way how you can always differentiate between these these two breeds is their tail. Pembrokes have short bobbed tail, cardigans have long tail. Other appearance differences are not that important but let's mention them anyway. The Pembroke is a little bit smaller but the difference is very small. Cardigans not only they are taller they are also heavier and they have different ears. Cardigan Welsh Corgi ears are rounder and larger and cardigans are accepted in more coat colors. Both breeds can be found in sable or red color but you can also find cardigans in blue metal color. As I said in the beginning of the video, Pembroke's ancestors are Northern Spitz and Cardigans have different ancestors like Dachshunds. Well, if they have different ancestors, they have different temperament. And it's true, Pembroke's are not that reserved with strangers, they are not that aloof. They are just more outgoing dogs. And because of that, in my opinion, that makes them better family pets or companion dogs. Cardigan, on the other hand, is much better as a watchdog. They are aloof dogs. They don't like strangers that much. It's because one of their purpose in the past, well the main purpose was to be great herding dog, but another purpose was to guard little kids. And you can't change their genes in a century, so they still have this guarding temperament trait. Other temperament traits are pretty much the same. Both breeds are friendly and loving towards their family, and both can be a little bit stubborn from time to time. Interesting fact is that Cardigan Welsh Corgi belongs to the same group with other dwarf dogs like Dachshunds or Bassets. This means that they are actually large dogs that suffer from dwarfism. Pembroke is not a dwarf dog, they are just small breed. Bow breeds were bred as herding dogs, which means they need movement. They are not large dogs, so daily long walks are enough, but they must be regular. You must regularly exercise them mentally and physically. And both breeds probably more or less need the same amount of exercise. Cardigan Welsh Corgi and Pembroke Welsh Corgi are pretty healthy dog breeds with long lifespan around 13 to 14 years. But of course they suffer from health issues as all dogs. They suffer from hip dysplasia and myelopathy and Pem Pembroke Welsh Corgi also suffer from epilepsy. Other health issues is not common with these two dogs. As you can see, these two dogs are not that similar, especially their temperament is pretty different. And, and remember, if you will ever need to determine if you see a Pembroke or Cardigan, look at their tail. If it's long, it's Cardigan. If it's short and bobbed, it's Pembroke. Tell me in comments which one is your favorite, Pembroke or Cardigan Welsh Corgi. And if you are new on this channel, consider subscribing, turn the notifications on and check our Facebook and Instagram, links are in description. Thank you for watching, see you in the next video. Yeah.